Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World where we talk about news on celebrity gossip and celebrities out there in the news acting a damn fool and we just give our opinions on it pretty much okay because if they're gonna sit out there and, and let have then i'm gonna sit there if i feel like i want to partake in the subject at hand then i come on over here to the fam on the youtube channel and talk to y'all about it okay some people can get with me some people can't that's just where it is you're gonna have your haters you're gonna have your lovers and you're gonna have your people that fall in between but hey when i got my characters up here prince cat williams and claire Hustable, formerly known as felicia Rashad. as long as i got them on my back we straight because we gonna be telling it like it is giving all face and expressions okay but as you can see it took one year for mike to mess up a good thing it's supposed to be him and cynthia like you and me together forever you and me just us two okay that's what he told her that's what he told her when he got down on them funky knees of his and propose to the gold mine to social media platforms interviews entertainment on celebrity news see he wants to be a part of that world he's been a part of the what do you call it <laughs> the sports arena uh way of living life now he wants to get and rub heads with the other big affluent type heavy hitters and he knows cynthia knows a lot of people in the industry okay and he wanted to capitalize on all of that now as i had expected he's making a fool out of her let the record show big boy done dropped his drawers and showed the big penis out for everybody to see on snapchat now snapchat been out Ah, as long as AOL been out, right? You know how dusty AOL is now. Because we got Gmail, kind of got Yahoo, got all these other little, you know, dot coms, dot orgs. We don't need to be fooling around with the Snapchat. But anyway, that's almost going back with Periscope when that was out. That, I mean, that's, that's hitting it way, way back when. So why in the world would a married man be fooling around on Snapchat? Okay, that's as bad as him being on on uh plenty of fish. P O F, y'all know that the dating site. Either way, this little scoundrel, and I ain't gonna hold nothing back on Cynthia because she had seen the writing on the wall, like the old folks say, or I should say, the seasoned, well educated women, men and women that have lived life for a very long time she let this nut this this nut right here set her up now he he is no good when it comes to relationships he don't have very very many failed attempts at marriage but you gonna let him set you up see i had lost my train of thought when i saw his picture because i don't like steve Harvey. i just feel he had something to do with bernie max death that's just me okay i'm a conspiracy theorist and you know it just is what it is okay but that man looked creepy. And I bet uh, Peter somewhere running around here laugh his ass off, okay? Because I'm like, if you're going to be attracted to a cheater, you should have stayed with uh, that gone Peter. At least he kind of lived the social life and he knows people out there. And I was listening to House of Aaron giving his rendition on what he felt about this whole cheating scandal. He had made some interesting points. Now going over to his channel, tell him Dale Chanel sent you over. But he had said something very interesting that we all thinking it might be a woman, but Mike might be on the down low, down the down low. Okay, he, he it looked like he trying to spit on her. Ain't but yeah, I mean, he, he, just look at his face. He's like a little serial something. You know what I'm saying? A serial cheater to begin with. He ain't faithful. And I know Cynthia has seen some signs. I know she has seen some signs. But going back to what Aaron had pointed out, he said it might be he he might be messing with a, a down low man. You know, allegedly. He said it might even not even be a woman. And I thought, well, yeah, you could be right. You could be right because why is it that he only have female friends? And he even said it on the show when 
Cynthia was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and she was going through her little spell. And I, 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 I bet I bet Peter somewhere just laughing his ass out. I'm telling you, <laughs> questioning a man, man, who? Cause see, he looked like one of them. He do. He, he looked like he could be a down low brother, in that that particular picture. But that ain't none of my business. You know, let him live if that's the way he want to go. But be honest with the females. Be honest with his one year wife. Okay. I, I, I don't like Mike. You know, it, don't, it doesn't matter whether he may be on the down low pool or he likes swimming in the same gender pool. It, it, it don't matter to me. But what matters to me is that he feel he can admit his wrongs and still be able to commit doing his wrongs. You remember when he said uh, that he never loved anybody. He never really knew what love was when he had his first two wives. You know what I'm saying? He hurt the little baby girl feelings. You know, he said he didn't love them. And she's like, well, you talking about my mama. You know what I'm saying? I had her in that adult conversation. Just, it was just all wrong. All shades of wrong. And I lost respect for him, Dan. And he ain't never pulled himself up with graces with me. I, I, I just couldn't. He just, he like gum under my shoe. Woo! Okay, yeah. It was in that setting that um he had made that comment that he didn't love the wives that he was with. But when he met Cynthia, I said, you saw a gold mine. Not a gold mine that... You know, she had a lot of money to partake of, but she had a lot of doors that can open for you. And the Jasmine brand, shout her out. She was the first one that brought this story into fruition. Because I actually saw it last night, but it was around 1130. And I was trying to get myself in the bed because I had to go to work, you know, this morning. And all that good stuff. And I was like, nah, because I get on here and I be talking. And then my little... Uh, family, they'll be sitting up here trying to listen to what I'm saying, see if I bring out some other points that nobody else brought out and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And I saw it just gain speed, a lot of momentum. Everybody had it by the time I got out of work today. Even my daughter had did two um, episodes on her YouTube channel about the situation. And I was like, mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. That's all I can say. Call. This is Cynthia's second rodeo. And. I know she probably feeling some kind of way. And. Bless God. She ain't on. The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because this would be her storyline. Just like it was Portia's storyline. When Dennis was out there doing God knows what with who. And then people call him. He was trying to tell her it wasn't him. And come to find out, after the sun had set, the dust had dried up, where you could really see the clearer picture. Bless God, he had said that and did all this stuff. Okay. So what we really need Mike to do is just come clean. Just come come clean and go to therapy. If that's what Cynthia wants to do with this young man. Because I ain't finna figure that out. If you did what you did, and to me, that's a form of cheating. If you got to go and, and, and be with somebody on the internet, it's internet cheating, but it's still cheating. And be having sex talk with some other woman or man, and you're supposed to be sitting there with me. I'm supposed to be giving you the very best of me, giving you the best that I got. <laughs> what Anita Baker was saying. And you still want to go south. You got to go. And I hope they had a prenup. I really did. I hope she didn't get into one of them things. Where Wendy's paying for her ex-husband. Living off her coin. Her dime. Her millions. Doing whatever he wanted to do. Being with whoever he wanted to be. And he's spending her money. But. That was their negotiation. Their time in the sun. And now she's not faring real, real well with that. Not to saying that was all of what he had did to her. And it made her have this major demise in her health and career. But I'm sure it was a, a very big part of it. But um, I don't know if it's true or not. But like I said, I never liked the mic from the beginning. I was out there doing videos every other day. Hoping Cynthia would see one of them. And just stop it. 
just stop it. You know what I'm saying? It's enough to want to be married. But what were the real reasons? Was it because you didn't want to be alone? Or everybody else in your circle were married or taken up with a, a gentleman suitor? And you just felt out of place? I mean, damn, your your sister Mallory, she ain't got no man. She divorced. Your mama divorced. And they fine. Could you not just have a significant other like Oprah? Be like, Oprah, she ain't married. I ain't saying go cohabitate with nobody and get let them get the milk for free. I ain't saying all that now. But I'm saying instead of you rushing, because God, uh, just like you pray to God for your husband and all the little things, don't think Satan ain't listening too. And what you think may have been given to you by the Lord could have been given to you by Satan. Because he listens to your prayers to the Lord as well when you're speaking them out. Okay? But I don't think you did any discernment when it came to this man. Because this man has been kind of ruthless. Even with him being taped on the show sometime. Or how he interacted with you. That I ain't really feel was kosher. But that's the only thing. Because even Kenya tried to tell you in the little. Uh, I thought I was going to say ice cream parlor. But with the cookie layer. Not trying to bring up Tanya Samson this at all. Because we ain't going to talk about that. But y'all remember the cookie lady. Since he was over there. Tell him. Can you? I want to get married. I want to get married. And then she listened to this jokester over here. Sitting up there. Ooh. Please move on. Please move on picture. Because I can't stand Steve Harper. I really can't. And then her trying to be set up by him. Just mind boggles to me. Just mind. It kind of put me in a whole elite thing. And. Have y'all been researching the boule, the black boule? Y'all need to research this so y'all can get in them comments and, and talk with me about some of this stuff. Because some of this stuff don't make sense. And I tell you that, I'm telling you, some, the, the many faces on Mike Hill, the many faces on Mike Hill. And I'm like, I don't know why my cousin calling, but I'm about to call him back. I'm about to call him back. Hold on. Let me call you back. I'm taping. Uh, you going to bed? You going to hear it on? I ain't going to bed. I said I was taping a video, but I'll call you right back. Uh, nah. Bye. That's my cousin. I ain't heard from him in a long time. So, once I finish with this video, I'll give him a call back. He's out of town. But anyway, you know, I just had to get on there and just make my speculations about this whole situation because I don't like it. I don't like it. It ain't sitting well with me. It is not sitting well at all with me. How is it fitting? How is it fitting with you all? Are y'all pleased that Mr. Mike? I mean, she already depressed. She ain't got no job to go to. I don't know what she doing with the Bailey agency, but she should be doing some. And Lord, she ain't got no job no more. What what what's she gonna do? What is she gonna do? I mean, I guess she need to go get on a talk show or something. A candy looking at her too. I'm like, I don't know what Candace really feelings are on this, but I know Cynthia Hoy had a whole lot to say when Nene was coming out here and telling stuff. But her sportscaster slash entertainment husband, she ain't got shit to say now. She ain't got nothing to say. I'm like, where, where's the smoke? Okay, there's fire out here, and we're blowing those smokes in the air like smoke signals. Where is Cynthia on her platform? Why hasn't she come out and did an interview? Because you know. You know somebody when she doing these press tours, because I'm still, sh I'm pretty sure she's out there, and she probably trying to dodge any other press out there right now, cause she know that's gonna be the main topic of discussion. Girl, have you heard what they saying about your husband on these streets? Okay, these Hollywood streets, these Rio de Niro drive streets. Okay. Wherever she's at in L.A., they are smoking pot pot. Even though probably people have, um, what do you call it? Have been talking about it. I'm sure she's she probably scared to even go outside. She probably want to run back to Atlanta right now. Right about now. Because we don't really talk that much here. We look at you like, well, okay, girl. Handle your business, all right? But don't be getting no germs from him. You know, you might have to wrap it up. Because you don't know where he going. And who he's diving in the pool with. Okay. You want to come up with no cervical cancer. Okay. 
You don't want to come up with nothing like that? Or no gonorrhea or a sexual transmitted disease. Because we don't know how he flowing out there, girl. We don't know how he flowing out there. We, and we don't even know if he protecting himself. We don't know. You don't know. We don't know. He don't know. But we want you to protect yourself, Samson. I mean, we may look at you as gullible and sometimes stupid. But we know you ain't crazy. We know you ain't crazy. Now, if you gave up on pill, you might have to do the same thing with Mike and just call yourself, sit yourself down. That's what you need to do now. You, we just really need to sit down, refocus, and stop trying to get hooked up with somebody. Because everybody on YouTube talking about you, girl. Everybody on YouTube. And they ain't being as fair as I am about you. Okay? Because I'm like, you know, hey, it's just here what it is. You know what I'm saying? But it's somebody Mike done sat there and pissed off. And they ready to tell it all. Especially when they talk about they're going to be on Wendy Williams' show. Whoever hosting it. They're going to probably call her and want that tea. Because, you know, that's what Wendy does. She goes and looks for salacious, scandalous tea as such. Okay? To promote out there. It's a lonely world at the top. Cause, cause, uh, when to talk about everybody Everybody under the sun Okay And she she got to keep her ratings up And she has mastered the art of Doing this type of platform Where she goes and Spread out people's news Their business She don't care She's just looking for the truth Like she said the truth will set you free Just come on my show and just give it all up to me Just give it all up to me And we'll blow up together but it's a downside to that. It's a very downside to that. Because, see, I really believe in my heart of hearts that Mike kept Cynthia from coming to Nene's um, husband's passing, repast ceremony or celebration of life. And for no good reason. Just, just he just had control over Cynthia. And Cynthia can be played by him like a playbook. Okay, like they're finna run a play. On the football arena. You know they setting it up. He done gave out the plate. And he wants Cynthia to follow it, to, follow it through to the letter. Yeah. But I'm like girl. I know it ain't that good. Ain't nothing that good to lose your total mind. And possibly some of your finances. Okay. So hopefully you ain't set. Bake late. Bake late. Uh, bake. Not one. Lake Bailey up. For sale. Okay, and hopefully you don't have his name on it. That was a good thing. If you didn't, uh, unless you put his name on it, it's a bad thing. And you need to be talking with your lawyers. And so he's sitting up there talking about he he talking with his lawyers, and then he's having these arbitrarily, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, conversations on his uh platform with random people talking about the subject. On he didn't cheat on Cynthia. Well, if you didn't cheat on nobody, boo, um. Why are you even worried about it? I mean, I can understand. You don't want nobody to get the best of you. And you got to put yourself out there. But you could have just said one thing on one big platform of yours. It's it's not true. Y'all can believe whatever y'all want to believe. But it is what it is. And that's it. But he going around here talking about Cynthia don't believe it. I'm like, we ain't heard that from Cynthia mouth. Cynthia ain't got out here on these airways and said anything. Even though it's funny how she can go try to get a woman straight. But she can't get her man straight. I don't understand that about women. I just don't understand. We could clown and go off on our friends that are women. And our associates that are women. And our haters is women. We could go off and, and tear them up from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. But when it comes to checking our man, we ain't got shit to say. I ain't like that. I'm just saying I know people like that. Because I check everybody. The only person I wouldn't check is the Lord. Okay? Because he could destroy my soul with the blink of an eye. But sometimes I want to ask the Lord some questions. And, I, you know, I'll be like, okay, Lord, you know, can I just please ask you this? You know? And he answered me. He answered me. But it's very respectful when I talk to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But when you're going at somebody who's supposed to have your back, supposed to have love for you, and then you hear alleged stuff coming out, and then you wonder, okay, well, um, that is his account. Um, I have been thinking and seeing and reacting to certain things. He's been acting kind of strange lately. And then you start putting two and two together. So when shit is brought out to you in full circle, whatever's done in the dark, brought out to light, you got to question it. You know what I'm saying? You got to 
ascertained from every angle of the story okay because why is he speaking for you why haven't you come out don't be submissive now baby girl don't be submissive you sure want submissive when the story is out peter was cheating on you okay you want you was on tv clowning with that mess and showing that you were unhappy and all this kind of stuff and i was like girl Girl, I would have been, ooh, honey, as quiet as trying to be kept. They might try to uh, hush, hush. I'd be speaking loud as I don't know what. I would have been, like, either taken up for you or I would have been, like, uh, we finna straighten this out. We finna go on somebody's platform and we finna bring this person out. Cause I want to know who this person is. Cause I'm going to clock my own tea before I let somebody else clock my tea or call themselves want to up one on me or probably want to even try to blackmail my ex uh, when i ex oh it might it might be in, in the making might be in the making now but i ain't gonna put no bad luck on her i ain't gonna say nothing bad because that's her life that's her fate and that's her situation okay but what man gonna sit up there there's not a bodybuilder or exercise guru gonna take a picture like that who is he posing for more women or down low men which one i don't know okay but the streets are talking they hot boy they hot all right, because we do still have some down low men out there that don't want to want the world to know what their real love is. Okay, because I tell you, if you look at that man and the different pictures I play on him or show of him, he look different in every damn picture. And it's like they're trying to tell us a story like psychopath, psychoanalyst. You know, just everything I'm thinking psychology with this man. Because he ain't right. Some ain't right up in them brain cells. I'm telling you. So. And I'm sure Kanye don't caught a glimpse of some things that I ain't seen right. I know Kanye have. But Kanye was like, don't be chasing after that man. Let that man chase after you. She was telling him. In the cook lady shop. She showed wolf. She was breaking down some nice gems. But since he wasn't having it, she wasn't having it, honey. She like, mm, mm I want this man. Yes, I want to be married again. Yes, I want to be love in love again. Yes, I'm thirsty. Yep, that's all she said. And look at here, look at here. Muck walked up on one year. Because she just celebrated her one year anniversary. She was on social media talking about it. She was on her platforms where she was interviewing with other um, magazines and internet sources, outlets. Oh, just saying, just saying. And look at here, look at here. Where is she? Where is Cynthia Bailey? I'm putting out an all points bulletin. Okay, where is she? Why she ain't talking? Either come out and defend your man or sit down and shut up and say, uh we got a problem houston we have a problem okay make some ways out there let us know you're still there don't hide don't hide on a rock now because you sure been talking 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 about nene and y'all are no longer friends and this that and the third well what about you and mike because that's the bigger picture right now what are you gonna do with this man that admitted to you while you were still taping and a peach holder <laughs> That he cheated. And he liked it that he cheated. He he knew he was a dog. He knew exactly what he was doing. Okay. And he ruined two women's lives that were very heavily invested in him. Because they wouldn't have married him. Okay. People just don't get married just for the sake of getting married. Unless they drunk and high. And you're in Las Vegas somewhere. And you just felt that way at the moment. Okay. And you were with somebody you pretty much just met. Or y'all been talking. You know. What do you call it? uh vicariously uh for a couple of weeks couple of months you know what i'm saying you're just like oh i love that person at the time and they just felt like i needed to have it with me you know you do crazy stuff like that but then you go get it annulled okay because it happened too quick fast in a hurry y'all were high y'all were drunk y'all was in the mood everything was wonderful but when y'all woke up had that ba very bad hangover and y'all took something for it got it together and you really start thinking about what y'all did the night before or the weekend before you know, no, we, we can't come there. I like you, but I don't. Oh, I like you. I love you to a certain degree, but I'm not in love with you. So we need to just handle this, okay? You're going to go pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. we going to pay for it. Which one? Because we went in together. We might well split 50 50. That's all I'm saying. But y'all, Mike Hill just don't have a leg to stand on. Because, see, for one, he sit up there and we know what he is because he confessed it. Now, did he. 
tell Cynthia in so many words that this shall not happen again? I don't know. It's unknown. It's all how Cynthia wants to view it. Because I, right now, I'm pretty sure Mike don't really care one way or the other. Because it's just another notch under his belt. Another failed marriage. And he's just going to go on and keep creating the same pattern after the same pattern after the same pattern. Okay? But my whole thing is... uh. Cynthia could have just came out and blowed this out out the water and said, no, it was not my husband. Uh, I kind of know who this is. And you're not going to get my husband. She could have been fronting, doing something, okay? Because there ain't no time to be classing now. Because you weren't classing when you was trying to tat down Nene and trying to say this, that, and the third. And try to make like you a big girl now. And you don't have to have any friends as long as you got your husband. And your husband got you. You good. You know what I'm saying? Now look at you. You're just as confused as you was when you were taping that show. Because we ain't heard from you, Cynthia. We ain't heard. We ain't heard from you. And that ain't like you. Because you always have something to say. So is Mike keeping you from saying anything? Is he telling you, don't go make it worse than what it already is. Don't pay no attention to it. But he been doing it. He been doing it on his platform. He been telling folks it ain't true. And he's talking about he don't call his lawyer. Like, what you got to call your lawyer for? You trying to act like Ma. When Ma was saying... With Kenya and him was getting a divorce, he didn't want all this uh, backlash from bloggers or, you know, uh, YouTubers who had a lot of followers to be camping out on this uh, particular situation of him going through a divorce. And he wanted to be left alone and he will talk to his lawyers to take action against anybody. I'm like, have you heard of freedom of speech? Okay. And people can make opinions all day long. Okay? And we can all just say, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. But that's not going to make us go away. Okay. It's not going to make us go away. So, by you saying, oh, we go, I'm going to go get my lawyer or my lawyer has been informed. What, what, I mean, I understand. What's, what's the problem? You the one on Snapchat. You may or may not know this person. Okay? Because sometimes we can play pseudos. What is it? We call it pseudo people. Meaning we could say we one person, but we be another person. And you be thinking we, some, you know, somebody else because we don't told you. But actually, that's our alias. You see where I'm going with this? So I'm like, if you got gooped, you got gooped. But guess what? You got gooped. The person was a little bit smarter than you. And it's nothing like they're going to sit up there and try to blackmail you or something. They were just trying to say, hey, I wanted to show Cynthia that she got one year in. But this man is not worth her uh, loyalty, her love, or anything. Because he's making a fool out of her. And I'm like, okay, cool, cool. But like I said, every woman, every man know when something is not right at their house. And, it's, you know, the, the feelings and, and uh, the environment is not how it used to be. So this might be Cynthia's wake up call. You know, if, if in fact she was already feeling something's wrong <coughs> within their marriage prior to this issue coming out. That Mike is possibly getting it on. On a social media platform. Because cheating is cheating. Whether you physically touch that person. Or you mentally be in that person's space. Where you're doing something that's not kosher. That you should only be doing with your significant other. Your partner. Okay. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? So. I don't know. I don't know guys. I don't know. But I hope Cynthia get a clue. Buy a clue. Rent a clue. Do something. Okay. But come on out here and tell her what you feel about it, Santa. God, what, what, that what that what they want to know. That want how you feel. So I I can either support you or just drive you on down the road. Because there ain't no sense of women being stupid no more. And there ain't sense, no sense of men being stupid when you're in these relationships. And your partner not acting right. Life is too short. Too short, too short. And people don't take the institution of marriage serious anymore. But like I said, you're a grown-ass woman, Cynthia. This is not your first rodeo. And this is something you're setting uh, a bad example. If, in fact, you know about this and you don't want to deal with it. Because no one else looking at you. That's your child. She can't help but look at you and see how you're handling this situation. But y'all, that's all I had on this particular topic.
topic for tonight y'all get down in those comments y'all let me know what y'all thought about this situation it's a hot ass mess it's a hot ass mess okay and since you're too old for this since you're too, and i'm pretty sure her mama looking like her like girl <laughs> i tried to tell you i tried to tell you you know how mamas always get up in our asses when they swear they try to tell us something. We was half listening to them, but then the shit come back and hit the fan and be like, damn, she was right. Oh, and then you have to go and say, but I love you, mom. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for always looking out for me. But in my book, if, is Mike being faithful? I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm -mm. And her closest friends, such as Kenya and Candy. They know. And Mallory probably done told her something too, but she ain't hear nobody. She ain't hear nobody when it comes to the clown. Especially when they got set up by Steve Harvey. I'm like, oh, what the buffoonery is going on? But y'all get down in those comments and I will see y'all next video. But make sure you like and share my videos, okay? Like and share, like and share. That means you care. All right. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.